morning student again we are going to our new topic what is the topic our uh, environment do you know environment do you know what is environment consists consists of four things air water land and living thing all these four things we we make our environment then now next is atmosphere but how the atmosphere is being made? Atmosphere is the combination of gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, uh, uh, ozone, and methane. It also contains dust particles and water vapor. In atmosphere, now go to this picture. In atmosphere, in the Earth atmosphere, we have four layers in the Earth atmosphere: that is, troposphere, stratosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. Stratosphere is a surface of the it is a layer of the Earth, a layer of the atmosphere. Which help us? It is a very thin layer of the atmosphere, it, because it's thin, but is very helpful for our earth because it help take protect us from the harmful rays of the sun, which is ultraviolet ray, which help us from it. Due to this, if the if he not if the stratosphere not protect us, when the suns a so, uh, uv ray directly come on the earth we people suffering from skin disease different type of skin disease skin cancer is happen so in this in this topic we have only learned about the stratosphere but earth has four layers of his atmosphere that is troposphere stratosphere thermosphere and exosphere now come to the global warming we have learned about the global warming what is global warming a global warming is the average temperature of the earth due to increased greenhouse effect is called global warming before going to the global warming how greenhouse affect the global warming due to greenhouse we have able to we are able to save us from greater global warming greenhouse is a house which is made of glass glass walls why it is made of glass walls because it is when the sunlight is gone through it it collect the heat and let out the collect relating the sunlight and let out the heat from the its house why due to that it can acid rain due to global warming and green effect we have gone to the next topic is acid rain what is acid rain acid rain is a sulfur and nitrogen mixing of Sulfur of di of dioxide and nitrogen oxide with oxygen and water vapor in the air. Due to that, they form sulfuric acid and citric acid. In the combination of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and oxygen and water vapor, they make a sulfuric acid and citric acid, which is very harmful for us. It is basically harmful for the plants, aquatic animals, and causes damage to the trees, buildings, etc. So, due to that, we if we are not able to suffer from acid rain, we should always keep in mind that we are we make clean our surroundings clean. Due to that, if we clean our surroundings, the environment also get clean. The environment also get in the global warming is going is not affect our and on the earth. how we can able to do the create with that harmful waste we can combine it. how it can be disposed how it can be that our surrounding not getting uh, uh, harmful uh, get polluted by by due to the waste materials and all this thing how we can think that dispose the waste there are three types of disposal of waste that is open dumping compost dumping and land open dumping what is the open dumping basically the open dumping we see in the urban areas that is we can able to see in the cities and towns it is basically happen in towns where waste loaded by trucks and taken away from and dumped in open area in one, in open dumping situation is happen in uh, in the towns and cities where the garbage man has collected it and throw it from the outside of the town which is very far from the town which is very far from the city but it is not covered it is a open area due to that it from there the harmful bacteria the harmful gases will come and it also affect our surroundings environment polluted then next one is compost pits it can be it, it is it can be made by digging a pit in ground it commonly found in village farmers use this compost in their fields 
Compost pits means it is digging, digging the ground by deep digging the ground from where we have the we throw the waste material on that digging ground, and it is basically where we have find this thing is basically find in the village due to because it helps the farmer to make manureized fertilizer for their farming. The last one is landfills. What is it? The garbage is. Dump deep ditch and once it is full, it it will be covered and with soil. What is in landfills? It is used there when the digging is there. The wastage is going there. The wastage is putting on the digging ground, the digging, the digging ground where we can ditch it. Ditch it with how it can which can deeply ditch it and with when the cover is full with the waste material, we can always also put the soil in it to cover it with. Now, what is the disposal of waste we have learned about? Open dumping, compost dumping, and land dumping. Due to that, in this we have also learned about three means of R. What is the means of R? R is for R refers to re recycle, reduce, and reuse. How when we reduce some waste? When we recycle some waste, it will get reduced. When the reduced thing again we reuse, again it recycles, then the three chains will be created. That is recycle, reduce and reuse. That we can re reduce the reduced material, we can recycle it and reuse it. That's all the day. Thank you for a have a nice day. Again.